Hey y'all, welcome to Cooking with Lena. Tonight I'm gonna make some cheese straws. And this recipe is a little different than your old basic cheese straws. This come from a dear friend of mine and this is his grandma's recipe and they are super duper good. Especially when they come out of the oven, they are whew, a whole pan will be gone in a minute. So anyway, here we go. We're gonna start out with a eight ounce block of crackle, Cracker Barrel Extra Sharp Cheddar. Extra sharp yellow, that's what it says. Now you can use a cheese grater if you want to, but I'm gonna use a good old food processor. block of cheese you know if you got a lot of people you're gonna be making things for then you could double up this recipe works just as good yeah you can you can also use um regular like craft cheese or whatever but you do want to use the extra sharp You want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. You're also going to need two sticks of salted butter. All right, you're going to mix this together. I do it with my hands. It's just easier that way. You want to soften that butter too before you put it in here. Gotta get my apron, finna get some flour going. Right. After you've mixed up that cheese and butter, you're gonna add two cups of all purpose flour, not self rising at all in this one because you're not gonna even add the salt and uh, salt, what's it called for? Salt and bacon soda. What the? Sorry. Two cups of all purpose flour. And you're gonna mix that in with your cheese and your butter. I made these with my grandson the other night. He had a ball doing this. And he was a big help too. of this red pepper over red pepper over here my hands are pretty messy I'm using the ground red pepper that should be good mix that in there And then the kicker to this recipe, two cups of Rice Krispies. That gives it that crispy, crispy. Mix those in there. And you're just gonna mix this till it becomes like a dough. Um, 
I think the best way to do this is just with your hands. So a lot of people use like a cookie dough press, but these we're just gonna ball them up in little balls. Come over here, honey. You want to do pretty small, about this much. Roll it into a ball, and then on your pan. Little bows. Little bows. All right. So once you get into rolled into your little ball, take a fork and I kind of dip it around as some the flour, and you press down, kind of like you would do a peanut butter cookie or a sugar cookie when you're baking them. I do them anyway, peanut butter cookies, and that's what it'll look like. Before you bake I always them. wondered how they got the ridges. <laughs> so you're going to bake these at 375 for 12 to 15 minutes. And then you're going to enjoy. Let's get them in the oven. All right, y'all. So I cooked these for about 14 minutes and they're all done. This is our tea straws. And it's just precious. So let's give it a taste. Oh. I don't know if y'all hear that crunch, but it's got that crunch because of Rice Krispies. Mm. I'm telling you, fresh out of the oven. These things are amazing. So, this ended up making 58 for us. So, I guess it was, you could say it would make anywhere from 50 to 60 for one batch. Um, that was about a pan and a half. It's according to how small or big you make them. But anyway, make them at 375. For 12 to 15 minutes we did 14 minutes that worked out perfect and um cheese draws can't beat them everybody loves them perfect for the holidays or anytime um don't forget to subscribe to my channel lean it up don't forget to hit the bell so you'll know when i post, post a new video and click the like button thanks for watching and i'll see y'all again on cooking with lena mm -hmm.